Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another tutorial video on this channel. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to do these watercolor floral nails without any watercolor paints, without any water, because it's all stamped. I absolutely love the watercolor uh, floral stamping plate that Clear Jelly came out with because it is super easy to use. It looks a lot more complicated than I promised that it is. We're also gonna use a whole bunch of color tones that came from a planner spread that I did on my second channel that is launching around the same time as this video as well, so make sure you check that out if you're into planners too. But enough rambling, let's get into the video design here. To start, her nails are all freshly prepped and ready to go and we're going to take some of our Fusion Clear Base and just apply this all over her nails. This is going to act as a barrier in between the color gel that we're going to embed because we're using mostly Fusion gels in this particular design. So we definitely want to make sure that we're embedding them because Fusion color gels are designed to be embedded. This is my inspiration for this set because I love this color palette on my particular planner spread that I did for this week. On her pinky finger, I'm gonna take Fusion's Booked and Blessed, which is the perfect gray tone blue for this particular color palette. I love this blue. Like, I don't think I can tell you guys how much I love this color. So many of my clients are wearing it. I just think it's the perfect fall toned gray blue and it's definitely a popular color uh, for different things that I've seen out for like home decor or anything this year. It's definitely like a color of fall for this year I feel like. Taking some of Easy Breezy from Light Elegance, I'm gonna put this color all over her middle finger. I wanted this color to be the base for the floral design that I wanted to do on this nail and I thought this would work really well so that the colors would pop on her nails. Fusions Rooibos, I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like I might be pronouncing that one right though. I'm gonna take this one all over the ring finger, but I'm also gonna put it on the thumbnail because I love this color so much. It's actually the color that I'm wearing on my nails in this video, and I never got tired of wearing this color. It is so, so beautiful. Originally, I had planned to, in my mind, put Swarovski crystals on top of this nail, but as the design goes on, I wanted more watercolor flowers, so we are gonna put flowers on top of this, and we're gonna tie in some of the different colors from the other color palette that we're using. Fusion's Rum Butter is one of my hands down favorite gold color gels that there is. I just love the color of it because it's not too yellow, it's more of like a champagne gold. It's beautiful, it's so nice for marbling as well. Any of these type of pearl finish colors will definitely show any imperfections that you have in the nails though. So for colors like this, I like to do the sandwich technique where you embed a color gel and, and then after the finished file, you go in with one more coat. And I thought maybe if I did a second coat right now in the design that it would have like evened out any of those imperfections, but it didn't. So I'm gonna end up going in um, and doing the sandwich technique on this particular nail. I am embedding all of these nails with Fusion's SL Clear. I am hands down loving this gel right now. So after I have finished file the nails, I'm gonna go in with these little pink buffers here and just kind of smooth out the nail a little bit more. I'm gonna take this brush, which is from Clear Jelly, and just remove any of that dust. I have alcohol on my brush as well. That's why it's like wet and taking everything off really well. You wanna make sure that your nails are nice and smooth, but to prevent showing any of those file marks in the design, this is my technique that I like to use. So I'm gonna take some of Light Elegance's tack, and I'm gonna go all over the finished file nail. I'm gonna cure it. Then I'm gonna take this brush here, which is a number six Simply Simmons brush that I get from Michaels. These are my favorite brushes to use for color on top. And I'm just gonna paint a super thin layer of this on top of the finished file nail. This will uh, smooth everything out and make it look a lot more even. But again, keep in mind that any brush strokes or lumps and bumps that are in your nail are gonna th show through with pearl colors such as this. I wanted to show you guys a little glimpse as to what the watercolor palette looks like from Clear Jelly. So when you first look at it, it honestly looks like it's just kind of a mess right there. Like all of the different images maybe don't really make sense, but that is the beauty of this palette because you don't have to line everything up perfectly. So this is the array of different polishes that we're gonna use. I'll do my best to leave in the description box below the numbers that we're using. And I just want to stamp some bigger flowers on the nails using complementary colors. So I put down uh, like a grayish blue base and then a light blue base on top of it. And then I'm gonna do black for the center and then I'm gonna go in with a bunch of greenery. I feel like the greenery really makes any sort of floral design. Like even if you don't want to put green on it or your clients don't request green, I feel like floral designs look a lot better if you just bite the bullet and put them on. <laughs> so in this nail, we're actually gonna put a lot of green on this particular nail. 
I loved this nail. This is probably one of my favorite nails of the entire design. But when you're lining up your watercolor floral images, it does not have to be perfect. Like I, that's my favorite part about this palette. If, if they don't line up perfectly, if they're a little off centered, it's not a big deal because it adds to the beauty of this particular design. This is significantly easier than trying to hand paint watercolor florals um, or even doing the technique where I've showed you guys where you stamp and then you paint in the flowers. Uh, this is just so much easier. So if you're wanting the watercolor look and you're unsure of how to get it, this stamp is 100% for you. I'm also using another leaf stamp in this design too because I wanted a variety of different leaves. I just can't remember off the top of my head the leaf stamp that I'm using. So again, I'll leave that in the description box below for you guys so that you can reference back to it. But on the red nails, I'm doing colors that kind of match the like pinky nude nails. And then on the pinky nude nails, I'm doing either the blue or the reds to try and tie the entire design together. You guys know that one of my favorite ways to tie a color palette together is to add some Swarovski crystals that match the colors that we're doing. So on her pinky nail here, I'm going to take one of these rings from Beamy Beauty Box and we're going to put in the center kind of a peachy Swarovski crystal. This one is called Rose Peach and I'm going to go in with some golds to tie in that gold uh, nail design that we did as well. Now the crystal sizes, uh, the one that fits inside the circle I believe is an SS12 and then we're going to surround it with some SS9s. We're also going to surround it with a little bit of SS5s too to kind of fill everything in. I also want to add some Swarovski crystals to the thumbnail so because it's a red kind of maroon base I'm going to go in with some of the blue and the gold crystals as well as some of those peachy ones to tie all of the tones together. This is one of my favorite Swarovski crystal designs to do on a thumbnail because I feel like it just kind of encloses it all in. On her pinky nail, I'm going to go in and do a, a different crystal design than I did on the other pinky. So we're going to take this crystal color, which is antique pink. I didn't have too many of them, which is why you didn't see them on the other nail. I love this one and it matches that fusions, rooibos, or any type of maroon colors perfectly. I want to do a crystal placement design that goes all the way down her nail. So whenever you do designs like this, I like to start with the biggest one in the middle first and then that way you can add your smaller ones in as you go. Because even if you were to stop right there because you didn't have enough room to fit another crystal in, let's say, it would still look good because you had started with the big one in the center. My last step is to top gloss over the entire nail design. Make sure when you're top glossing around Swarovski crystals that you're doing your best to surround them and not get top gloss on them because they will dull them. And then I like to double the coat over top of uh, any stamping design because this way if you have any separating on your stamping design it won't show through. But also that's a lot of polish sitting on that nail and you don't want to have any chipping so if you double gloss it then it'll prevent chipping with this as well. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this nail tutorial video. I hope that it was helpful for those of you out there who wanted to learn a really easy way to do some watercolor floral nails. I love this stamp that Clear Jelly came out with because it is so easy to use and it's so, so versatile. I remember the first time that I saw it used in a design and I was like, hold the phone, what is that? And let me tell you, this is a really easy floral plate to use. Make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.